What's going on, NBA fans? Welcome back to another episode of NBA Central. We got the whole team in here. C-Dub, Big Bro, and Steve-O Speaks. Look, we got a bevy of topics today, but we already know we're getting into that first one. Which playoff coaches are on the hot seat? Hold on Ooh. now. Y'all already know. We're going to get into it, plus a little bit more, right after this. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. All right, gentlemen. It's another beautiful day. How y'all feeling? Man, another beautiful day. It was gorgeous <laughs> out there, bro. I'm looking for the ice cream truck right now. Hot as hell. Looking for the corn hey, man. I'm pretty. <laughs> the corn man crazy. Hello, day. Hello, day. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's sweet for everybody. Sundress season. Is upon us. Oh, sabat, sabat, hold, sabat, sato. Crazy, bro. <laughs> y'all, wow, honey. Y'all, wow. But hey, man, to the fans, man, if y'all like what y'all listening to today, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But we already know, man, the NBA playoff is right around us. We got two more games of the play in to go, and then it's time to get down to the business on the race for the chip. But we don't want to talk about the players today, y'all. We want to talk about the coaches. I'm going to go to you first, Big Kev. Which playoff coach or coaches? You can start at one at a time. Well, Which one on the hot seat, bro? Whew. I would, So I got to start with Mike Malone in Denver. Woo. My man's got – he got the two-time reigning MVP, the number one in the Western Conference. It's a wide open. There's no clear cut favorite to win the championship this season. It's their opportunity. Their window is closing. If they don't do it this year, it ain't looking good. Who knows how long Michael Porter Jr.'s back is going to be good. Who knows how long <laughs> Jamal Murray's whatever been hurting on him is going to be good. So I've got Mike Malone right there. Uh, unfortunately, injuries have hurt this squad ever since the 2020 situation where they went to the Western Conference Finals. They haven't sniffed it since. And my second coach is Doc Rivers. Damn, yeah. Okay. Doc Rivers. He told me. He told me I could do more than one. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. You pick my two. Go ahead. Oh, uh, listen, y'all. Can, you can give your reasons though, because Doc Rivers has been basking in the glow, much like everybody from that Boston squad of that one championship that they won mm -hmm. when they decided to, to be a super team. Ever since then, Doc Rivers has lost the most 3-1 victories, like 3-1 leads in the history of the NBA. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they don't win this season with, with supposedly MVP Embiid, and if he, even if he don't get MVP, the way Embiid is playing, if they don't at least make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, Doc Rivers needs to be up out of there. Those are my two coaches. Damn. Mm. And it's, well, who you got, Unc? I know you got something wild to say. All right, this guy, he has some good choices right there, Big Kev. Um, I'm going to go with Mike Malone. I'm going to just say it along with you. Um, he does have maybe – it could be the three-time MVP, most likely just two-time MVP. Um, and it's been some distinction in the locker room, especially when the coach come out and call out the whole team. He called them soft numerous times. Now – I don't know if the players revolt. Who you gonna pick? You gonna pick Joker? You gonna pick uh, Malone? They obviously gonna go with Joker. <laughs> so, uh, so I just think he on the hot sheet. They definitely gotta do 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 at least get to the uh, Western Conference Finals, which I don't see happening. So he gonna be on the hot seat. Now my two is gonna be surprising to you guys, but I'm gonna go with Mike Budenhauser. Um. They won a championship a couple you years ago. Holds it up. Huh? I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. No, you said who said? Mike no, I said, I no, said. No, he why, said why? Why? Oh, he yeah. Finna, okay. He finna I'm tell you. He finna tell you. It was. It was just. It was just a, a thought that I came out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You like? Wait a Hold on now. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, Mike Boonhoser. They won a championship a couple years ago. What was it? Two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, since then, you know, they're getting close. They got to the Eastern Conference Finals the last couple years. But when has it become dry with the same coach? When you're pumping the same thing? Because I don't think they can make it to the finals this year. 
Uh, I think he's on a hot seat. He's on a he's got pressure on him to win the championship. I think it's win the championship a bust for Mike Boonholzer. It's Dang. getting to that point. Like you got a, a championship team. How long you think uh Brooke Lopez got? How long you think Drew Holiday got? Giannis probably got like eight, nine years left like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But how long he think this team is gonna stay together? You gotta take advantage of the talent that you have and he really has not he won one but he really has not for sure hey, yeah i hear him tapping that's how you know he for real oh, bro that motherfucker <laughs> says. That says. Hey, that's it that, nah, that's no y'all it. y'all said something somebody that y'all i'm surprised y'all didn't say y'all know goddamn well tom thibodeau better be on oh, this goddamn house. yes sir I didn't want to take everybody, Steve-O. Y'all was getting mad at the first two. Um, bro, I'm sorry. I'm just, when you look back at it, hey, it been almost, it, it, they almost like the heat. Y'all have been together almost three to four years. If you ain't got it after this year, if you, if you especially if you don't talk, they, he got at least, to save his job, he got at least touch that ECF. And it's going to be difficult to do. Yes. So. Hey, without because they might not make it out the first round. I mean, that's ooh, tough. What's, what's yeah, the so it's like, yeah, so it's like, yeah, they got to play Cleveland. So it's like, hey, it, 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 it all depends on how they lose and basically how they look. But I feel like he's one person that should be on a coaching hot seat that's in the playoff. Yeah. And I'm going to say, hmm, I don't know how much how y'all feel about it, even though they're not really a playoff team, but Chris French. Or however you say uh, it, Finch, uh, 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 Minnesota. Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just because, like, the fact that yo, you you let that whole debacle go down toward oh, yeah. the end of the season, nine times out of ten, we gonna get some more news coming out. This this been happening, yeah. So, so towards the end, so we we gonna get more news on it. So, and what do you think about his decision? He they decided to 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 bench uh, Rudy Gobert. It wasn't the NBA that stepped in and said he needs to be suspended. The team imposed you, that. I, I probably would have gave him a fine. Like to be I, yeah, I would have fined the hell out of him. But you the, you sit mugs down to, for a point when it is not important. This is important. Oh, wow. So can yeah. I answer that before you go, Steve? Go ahead. I think I think um I think they dodging. Dodging um Phoenix. Um, who they got to play if they win that play in? They gotta play they gotta OKC. Play and then if they win, they gotta play Denver. Okay. Uh, if right, they, they win, gotta they gotta play one. Denver. If they right. would have won the last game, they have to play Memphis, right? Yeah, number yeah. two. They dodging Memphis on why would you do that to yourself? They did it to themselves on purpose. Nobody you saying that to because they lost to Memphis last year. I'm saying they dodge in Memphis. They think they don't have a they have a better chance against Denver than they do against Memphis. So I that's why they bench Rudy Gobert. That's what I think. Okay. Go ahead, Steve. I'm going to have rebuttals once everybody finishes. No, nah, that, that that was really just yeah. That's my house. Uh, yeah. uh, I agree with everybody. I think everybody y'all had good takes, but I'm gonna say this. I'm going with the Memphis Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. Hit the head coach over there, Taylor Jenkins. For one, mm -hmm. what is the what, what is the stigma around the Memphis Grizzlies? Immature. Y'all talk a lot of shit and y'all immature. And just last year, y'all underachieved, in my opinion. Y'all keep having all these good regular season stuff. And if you get your ass bounced by an old man Lakers team in the first round, oh after God. all the yap, 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 the C starts to heat up. I don't know if he gets fired. With I don't believe he will get fired. Yeah, but I believe that the heat starts to turn up a little bit more. I know everybody be going to point to Brandon Clark being out. We're going to point to Steven Adams being out. But at what point do you hold? Because to me, your best, you, your best four players are going to be on the court. Absolutely. So yes. that to me, you're gonna have to overcome. And I believe that if you can outlast that, at what point though, you gotta ask the question: When are y'all gonna get to at least a Western Conference Finals? And real talk, Bobby, what you're saying it makes sense because every team at this point is dealing with injuries to players that they need on that court. Uh, so for OKC, ain't, I'm not OKC, for Memphis, ain't no excuses. Y'all need to go out there and perform. I wasn't with you uh, for the first part of your statement, but after you, after the second part, I'm like, yeah, you you are correct. He did. He's the leader of this team. He's the head coach. Why is all this? Why you can't take control of that locker room? Why is it going crazy? Why is y'all doing this shit? Why you ain't sit down and talk to him? Because he a white man. 
<laughs> that's God, why he's a leader, he, bro, He's he, surrounded by bro, a lot of a bro, lot of under twenty five year olds. That's what I'm saying. Like NBA I, I, young boy listening to, <laughs> yeah, like he ain't, ain't nobody trying to hear that coming from no Taylor. Like and that and, and that, that's my thing. Like Taylor was not really on. Like I feel like they was gonna take it up. Like the heat was gonna get a little hotter, but it's not really that much deserving because they haven't put the best product around them. Yes, you got a pretty solid team, but that's still not the best roster you could put together. So, like, yeah, in certain times you do have to overcome, and this is a good time to show that you can overcome if you could somehow get to a, a, a Eastern. A, I mean, well, not Eastern, a Western West. Conference mm-hmm. Final. Uh, that can potentially uh bump up you and give you some more extra years. Yeah, and just, you go ahead. Oh, I was gonna let you finish, but I was just gonna say because if you get past the Lakers and the people you talk shit the most might most to might be your next round matchup. You might see Golden State. State again if you can get past the Lakers. Now Do I will you say fold this again to the Golden State uh, Golden State Warriors though? That'll be oh. another thing. I'll oh, say this good. about Memphis. They definitely did um put more shooting on the team. I like the signing of, of Luke Kennard. Like, I, yeah, I actually yeah. love it. That and I good. feel like that's that's suited for the playoffs. So they this is their chance. They got enough shooting. They got enough ability to get to the basket. They got the likely defensive player of the year on their squad. If not now, then when? But, oh, Big man. Kev, this is the worst pa- possible matchup they could have in the first round. Oh, yeah. A so very, you uh, so you would have said that it would have been better if they would have got – the Timberwolves, basically. Oh, yes. absolutely. Uh, yes, okay. yes. By a mile. Yeah, a bad, sure. bad the, matchup. The Lakers are a bad matchup for everybody. The Lakers are sure. a bad matchup for everybody just based on experience alone. Like the, the, the hoopla that surrounds the Lakers with the, the all-time. And a lot of these people on these young teams grew up idolizing LeBron James. So yeah. it's hard, you know, besides SGA, it's going to be hard for them to be on the same court as him in these pressure-packed situations. And I'm going to say this. Ain't nobody forget what Josh said. We good in the West. Yeah, come out and show us. But Unc, I gotta disagree with you on Mike Budenholzer, bro. Okay, I, I'm a uh, bro. Number one seed, bro. You can't bat an eye. I would agree that the the team is getting old, bro. The team is getting old. They're gonna have to, in my opinion, they're gonna have to figure something out with Chris Middleton. They're gonna have to figure something out, you know, to get younger. Because I believe they like in the top tier of teams with the oldest roster. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So they definitely like y'all brought in Joe Ingles, solid rotational piece, but he old. Chris yes. Middleton can't stay healthy to save his life. Jay Crowder. But, you know what I'm saying? Older guys. So yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it's bust if they don't. I mean, they number one seed in the East, but I still think that Boston is really, really neck and neck with them. And yeah, I can't yeah. see that booting hook. One, one second, see though, my bad. I Bobby, what I'm what you said makes sense. I can't see him being on the hot seat just based on how he navigated the regular season. They was on like a 20 game winning streak with oh, be honest, Giannis wasn't even there for half of it. So, like, I feel like, but you're right, they are getting longer in the two, so there's something that needs to be done. But I don't know if that's on booting hoser, though. That's yeah, that that's what sense. I'm saying. That's more front office, if anything. If we I'm keep saying it in the with this team, he has to lead them to a championship or bust this team. I hear what y'all saying, though. Y'all respect them. But look, Steve. I think he Billy Donovan. I'm going to keep saying that shit. Yeah. Yes. He's that, this oh. like, yes, ain't the first time Steve look, said that. I can't, I see, I can't I think, agree I with you, that because even in Atlanta, he was he was. I think you cut. Team. Bro, I that was one cut. damn year. Kev, you keep saying that shit. It, it lasted in one think, year. I think you cutting Thibodeau over yeah, those shorts, got, Steve. No, cut, come on now. Come on now. I think he is. Oh, no, you did listen to Thibodeau, though. He listened to Thibodeau. Why would you say that, though? Cause don't Jalen Brunson turns the turns the whole outlook of the team around, doesn't he? He does. He, he does. You gotta take that into account. Yeah, so it's not the same team. It's not. Look how Julius Randle's playing. Unbelievable. Yeah. Give him his flowers. Yeah. That dude is playing great. Yeah, yeah, he definitely he, is. Cause RJ I didn't expect Barrett. him to do with it. RJ Barrett, okay. He yeah. he he kind of flattened out from last year, but yeah. Jalen Brunson is the difference. Because- well, RJ Barrett was more the point guard last season, whereas you got. RJ, you got Jalen Brunson with the ball in his hands now, so he definitely had to take a step back. And I feel like that's where he should have took off it. Like, you're not a point guard. Like, you was never really, like... Never. I, let me not say never, because they definitely tried to make him a point guard Duke. I was but, about to say, what are you <laughs> about to say, Let me not say never. <laughs> and that's why I felt like he went... That's, I feel like that's why we not seen... We have net to see... That's why I've never been that sold on RJ, because it's like... 
I've never seen, bro. Like, like I said before, they call that man the Maple Mamba. I'm like, I ain't seeing no <laughs> nah, Maple Mamba. Nah. So it's like, hey, hey, that's a bad well, nickname. In general. I think he needs to find his position. I think he a three. Is he? A, yeah. is, he they think he's trying to play shooting guard. I think he a three. Is he a slasher though? He can slash. Yeah, he could. I, bro, yeah. it's like he could do. He, I don't know. He's just weird. Like it's like he can score. He can play make when he can, he can. I mean, he's good at it, but he can yeah. play make. He's athletic, but it's just like it's almost like he's not great at one thing. Absolutely. It's like he's just good at a lot of things. So mm-hmm. it's not like yeah. Okay. But I, I like see, the Knicks, Steve. I can see. I like the Knicks. I can see what Steve. I like the Knicks going, too, but they've been goddamn for years. I can see where you going with it though, because at one at what point are you going to continuously have first round exits? You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Because like, and, but. I would throw this caveat in there. The damn front office outsmarted themselves trying to be assholes and show up to a uh, well, I forgot who game it was, and yeah, you know I oh, hate Dan, that you they, brought they that shit up to Danny Ainge game. Why you had to Danny bring up front office? Wasn't wasn't even playing. He, they did Danny Ainge wrong. He was going. Why to you had to bring up front office? Why you had to bring up? Because anytime because anytime I bring up front office, it just negates anything about Tom Thibodeau, to be York, honest. Because it really do. That's <laughs> what I, that's, I was trying out. I was trying to be <laughs> slick, and you weren't slicked it. So go on here. Well, because they they played themselves. That's ain't that what they, old boy I mean, said? But Brunson has been good though. But at the same time, I still see where you coming from though. Because how many you you made the playoffs your first year? You missed it last year, and now this year you're gonna make it again. And now you're gonna get it's likely very, very the only way the heat doesn't start to heat up is if you go out in seven. Mm-hmm. And, and, but and if you go out, what what if they go out in five? That's well, that's, that's, bad. that's high. bad. That's bad. That's bad. But yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Steve O this. I'm gonna give Steve O this. Um if they don't, I'm I, they gotta beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't think they could, but they got to. They gotta overcome because Jalen Brunson's been an all NBA type player. This year, he's been an All NBA. I don't know Bro, if he's he first, might not make third, it. He might not make it, but, but he's, he's definitely definitely been ha- Look at having Dallas. a great year. Look at Randall's Dallas. going to look at Dallas without without Jalen Brunson. Look at Dallas. Um, bro. That's yeah. Dallas. They was all right without Jalen Brunson until they traded for Kyrie. They was number four in the West. But they so, weren't doing shit. That's because nobody know. playing defense on the air for real. <laughs> <laughs> that's really what it was. Like um, bro. that's what happened. Everybody started clamping the that second half of the season hit. Everybody started clamping down on defense. They started picking up their tendencies and locked that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> if they weren't that cool, they was like, Yeah, they were winning games. That's because everybody wasn't locked in. Um, and, and chat and whoever looking at this video, we didn't mention J Kid. Because we all because he ain't, he ain't in, in the playoffs. Play no. Jason Kidd play definitely off. on the hot seat though. And we <laughs> are <laughs> no nah, Mark Cuban on the hot seat. He bogus. Shit, Jason Kidd Mark bogus Cuban. too. <laughs> he owned the team. He ain't no shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, got, I, know, I, I, joking. I, I think I ain't gonna lie to you though, Kev. When you your point about Doc Rivers, I like it. I love it. I, but I just don't see. I just don't see. I don't like that. I don't see them beating the Celtics in the second round. Can they? Absolutely. Anything can happen. Maybe, maybe the Doc they Rivers can talent. get something, get something out of his team and try to get in the head of the, the Celtics. Be like, ah, y'all dumbass, try to trade that's Jalen Brown. That, but that's his lose. only, that's his only thing he can do. That's what well, I'm saying. Try to spark something up, but at the same time, we know Doc know. Rivers. He don't like the change. What the hell has been working for him? And that's why his ass ain't been winning championships. No, and that's man. why he's on hey, the bro. hot seat. <laughs> Philadelphia got that. is the is the best team to match up with Boston though to tell you the truth. Milwaukee, I don't think so. They but all it take it. all it what take is you with Milwaukee. They match up with no, 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 right, Boston bro. had they antennas up, bro, when they playing Milwaukee and they blow them out, bro. They crush bro, bro, them. Bro, they get bro. You talking about bro, Milwaukee got the best half court offense and defense in the league? Sure, sure, absolutely, and that's play that's play, that's play playoff ball. That's Bro, they don't Boston don't play half court in the playoffs. They running up and down. Oh, you eventually oh, you oh, have yes to they do. Oh yes, you they do you because they turn they they make them do that. Yep. Yeah, no, bro. Oh, but I'm, I will I will say this though, if they go into that second round and Robert Williams hurt mm-hmm. and Horford looking like 
trash. Like he 40. Joel Embiid, if he goes into that second round (laughs) healthy, he has no excuses, bro. Why you just do Hoffer like that? Because that's how that's how I said if he trash. He he, he not. I said if he was trash. Oh Oh, shit. He talking about if he 40. (laughs) He's 40. But did this like the, the thing about Philly is Embiid is going to get his. But when you get into the the, the Tobias Harris's and the uh, the Yangs and those and the Maxis, they're going to have to step up. And, and man, y'all. oh man, that's going to be they tough. Ain't trying I to think bank you can on count no James Harden. Big Of he course you can. No, no, Maxie's that Maxie's, Maxie's on who? I can yes. count on Maxie. It's James I'm, Harden and Tobias Harris. And and mm-hmm. and all the and the others, the people coming off the bench, like. The playoffs, every possession matter, man. So like, I feel you, you on that, but fuck that. James <laughs> get, Harden, you got to show yes, up. He better. Tobias Harris, you got to show up. Hit Pebble Hill ass ain't going to show up. Bro, he going to jump 14 yes, times, I gotta, do drive and kick, <laughs> they get him, and he going to get 10 assists out there. He going to be talking about he playmate. No, he wasn't. I got to give James Harden his credit <laughs> for at least adjusting his game this season. James Harden, For the first time in his career, what, James Harden. What did he adjust? He ain't standing around taking 40 shots yeah, a game. Okay, okay. Hey, Steve, my fault. My fault. He, 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 he decided I'm going to run to the damn paint and kick out. Whoa, that's all I'm All I'm saying is that's an adjustment for James Harden based on his career. Oh, he was a, he was literally the he was literally dribbling the ball for 20 seconds and then trying to do something that's for his like whole Luka. career. But now he's 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 adjusted. He's taking a step back. I'm not saying he's an all star or a great cool, player. I love kudos for that. But yeah. I still I don't, I, I, uh, I'm not giving you no damn kudos for doing playing <laughs> basketball. It's supposed to be fucking played. So I'm he's not hard doing playing it. way play well this season, Steve. Let me <laughs> hear it, bro. He played well. Did he lead the league in assists? He was on okay. Anybody lead can assist? lead the league in assists. No, the ball to no, no, no. <laughs> and everybody collapse, and you drop, push that bitch to the corner. It's so it it Hey, I'm hey, hey, I can't go against that argument because I just said the same thing about Trey Young. I can't go against that argument because, like, like Steve O said, it's easy to run a pick and roll with the bit the best big man in the NBA. And just too driving many factors. Everybody's going to collapse towards the middle. Everybody. So it's going to leave two shooters. If one person is, then you can skip it. Then that's going to mess up everything. That's Everybody just, can't do that, Steve. Why you say it's easy? Who, who, you seen who, the Bulls play all who, season? What, what NBA professional guard can't do that? Zach Levine, DeMar you, DeRozan. You seen them blow, miss open uh, rollers to just, the basket? Just last night. <laughs> I ain't say rollers to the basket. I ain't say rollers to I said drive and kick. Mm-hmm. You see them miss passes and throw balls away no, with open no, shooters? That's because you see a DeMar dumbass pull up and, and mid-air <laughs> didn't pass. That's not a drive and kick. It's a difference. Oh, bro. <laughs> No, that's Funny true. That's true. I don't know. I still got Doc Rivers on my hot seat, man. I, feel I mean, like he Philly got rightfully so. I'm not mad at you. Rightfully oh, so. Because how many, bro, how many times you going to underachieve? <laughs> you got to overcome. Man, put the brothers on the hot seat, man. We can't even get No, nah, we love Doc Rivers. Shit, West man. Side in the building. We love him. We like oh, Doc, yeah, Doc yeah. Rivers, but his ass has been booty juice for a long time. <laughs> Damn, booty juice. They third in the conference. <laughs> He's in booty juice. At least, at least in the playoffs. We're talking about playoffs, bro. Playoffs, huh? Playoffs. We're talking about playoffs. Great regular season, coach. He got one of those, though. Who's everybody ain't got one of them? And that's the point, he though, bro. He had the first big three in modern modern day. <laughs> Listen, and that's the thing. Like, like I said that's at the beginning, fact. was he's basking in the glow, just like the White Sox was doing for 15 years about that championship they won. They still had the banner hanging hey, from the hey, side hey, of the stadium. Hey. hey. Hey, hey, it is. Hey, it is. Hey, hey, out, hey, what hey, you hey want, ain't nobody man? tell you say nothing about y'all. It took y'all hundred two years to win some hey, shit. Wait, bro. wait, wait, wait. You, I'm a White Sox fan. I'm just. Making Neither, why would you even say such a thing? I'm just why making. Why would you say analogy? such a thing, Cam? I'm, I'm making an analogy. That's all I'm saying. All I don't, I'm don't doing like the <laughs> analogy. I don't like it. My bad. I'll make a new analogy. I'll just yes. say this: Boston uh, Doc Rivers is literally still living off of that championship. He went to L.A. and didn't. They they underachieved. Lob City had a couple of teams that were championship teams. Now I know Chris Paul get hurt every playoffs. He bogus his head. He want to slap because he want to slap seats and break his hand and shit. That's and, or just yeah. that's interesting. You said that, and I and I like what you said, Big Hell, that he living. But could you say the same thing about Mike Boomholzer 
Ain't he living off that championship from two years ago? We're yeah, talking two about, years ago. Right. We're talking That's about what? Two years ago. That was two years ago. Oh, versus but, a but decade. What has he done for me lately? We're talking he got about, him to the first we're talking two, about, years two years ago. Finals, bro. bro, we talking about if the Bulls were in a championship two years ago and they won it, we'd be happy. If Thibodeau won a championship, we'd still be celebrating that Tip Thibodeau championship. Oh, <laughs> we'd be like, ah, oh, Cavs, y'all, we can see home, bro. <laughs> Thibodeau would never win the championship. Now we're talking about if that MVP D. Rose. As a if, defensive assistant? You said he never won as a head coach? If Ooh, that MVP D. Rose team won a championship, we would still be celebrating that is all I'm saying. Oh, right, bro. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys.